collaboration, multidisciplinarity and the engagement with the civil society. I think this will be a key success factor for the future. By exposing society to the outcomes of our risk assessments, we enter into the fascinating realm of trust. Trust is something that's given to us. We cannot demand it. What we should do is try to demonstrate trustworthiness. It is a long-term investment for an agency to explain to people that not everything is black and white in science and that there are still grey zones. Because uh, if you explain that to the consumer in, a, in an open way, he will trust you that you will tell him the truth later. We are now at a state where we really have to open up, engage more with society and see what the concerns are so that we can assure consumers that the food they eat is safe. In theory, we should engage all the stakeholders, but to prioritize our energy to engage the public is the most important. I'm not sure whose role it is to engage with the public. I think it's everybody's job to communicate and interact. It's about scientists actually speaking a very different language and involved in a very different set of processes. And the laymen, of course, you know, they don't understand this language. The correct way to communicate is not only the delivery, but it's also the content. Not just what the scientists think that the public needs to know, but understanding what are the public values, what are the public behaviors and their current knowledge so that we can better communicate that information. One magic enabler is available. It is the power of collaboration. We are working a lot with citizen NGOs and also we work with consumer groups to know what the emerging preoccupations are within society. We have to go a step further and have no standalone anymore. Part of the Clarity BPA program was to bring together researchers not only in regulatory science, the Food and Drug Administration, but also academic scientists in universities to give a more comprehensive body of information on BPA. We had had a huge array of insights fields such as nanomaterials or next generation sequencing to more emerging topics like blockchain technology, artificial intelligence, the exposome, the capabilities of the future. To try to just tell consumers what to do and leave it up to the consumer uh, is not really fair and not, not really the right approach. We don't do that for anything else in our economy. We don't leave it up to the consumer to choose or not choose a safe car. Policy needs to shift and really move toward making all of the foods in the food supply a generally healthy choice. This conference has given us not only new insight, but also new energy to go further into this journey towards an open science organization. <laughs>